would be an amazing steal if St Kilda got up to take it. Look at those stats for Lockett. 14 kicks, 11 marks and 3 handballs. He's back in business. But they've just given too big a start, you would think. Sure. He's got it again. Oh, he is They're not out of business yet, St Kilda. Don't worry about that. He does run around and kicks it. Nine goals to Tony Lockett, the nemesis of the Sydney Swans. And can they steal this match? The smiles have gone. 98 to 109. Now, St Kilda, you wouldn't have believed it. No. 17 7 to 14 14. The centre bounce very important. Here's Frawley. He's battled hard since half time. Here come the Swans. Jason Daniels receives from Waters. Simon Mitten Connell. He's got it. A quick hand pass. Oh, that could be holding the ball. No. Umpire calls play on. Peckett goes to ground. Here's a kick. Wade Chapman across the face, but most importantly for the Swans, it's down in their forward pocket. Yes, and well played by the skipper there, Paul Kelly. Just cut the ball in, in a bit of desperation, made sure it wasn't going to be cleared out of the area. A minute and a half to go. Mooney, Shanahan, they won't rush it through because they realise time's against them. Nathan Burke, they've got to get it down and get two goals, remember. Burke's kick up towards centre field, that should be a mark, it is. This is Thornborough, back to Nathan Burke, who's really lifted. He's been one of the players that brought St Kilda right back. Kick it off his hands. He'll have to get back quickly. Dean Greg's quicker over the top. Look, it's five points the difference. Ten goals to Plugger. This is an unbelievable finish. One of the great comebacks, and they can still steal the game, the Saints. A minute and two seconds. Who will get it out of the centre could decide this game. Gavin Rose, the big thump. Nathan Burke has really lifted this side. The big leap from Neil. Oh, the secure player goes to ground. The Saints in there hard after it. Here's Higgins diving on top of it. They try to shuffle it out. Oh, quick kick. Lock it! Oh, lock it! Oh, Tony Lock at the champ. He's kicked 10. He's marked 20 metres out directly in front. If he kicks this, the Saints, you wouldn't believe it, would lead by a point. Well, that congestion on that 50-metre uh, line, it was Doug Bailey who got that kick out with his left boot and that low trajectory tour just carried Derek Kickett. Sensational performance this by the big full forward. Look at Ron Barassi. He cannot believe it. The St Kilda champion has taken 12 marks. He's kicking for goal number 11. He is single-handedly... Almost taken this game away from the Swans. The kick from Lockhead. Got it's it. a goal! Saints in front by a point. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. What a steal. That's, as I said, stealing defeat from the jaws of victory. 110 to 109. Saints fans can't believe it. Peter McKenna <laughs> changing his votes very quickly. I had Bays down for three votes no. and Lockett for two. I've just switched them. Oh, you've got to give Lockett three. Well, this was I did those votes ten minutes ago, Pete. I think uh, Sydney had gone to the dressing room ten minutes ago, so they've got 22 seconds left to get it behind to draw the match. And uh, I, we wouldn't give them too many chances of doing that. Clock ticks down, 14 seconds to go. St Kilda will win it now because it's out of bounds on centre wing. Seven seconds left, six, five, four. Well. There's Danny Floyd, the skipper too, the one responsible for getting that ball out to the boundary line. Vidovic. Saints have won it. So they've pulled off one of the most amazing victories of all time here at the SCG. And uh, you know what that says, Sydney fans, Plugger Lockett has the last word. And well he should with 11 goals.